in your leg. That's what I was up when I did my workshop in the radio wow. station. Like you have to do everything. You have to be the producer, mm. director, mm. sound. Yeah. You you have to do everything. Right. It's, yeah, do everything. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, right. well, look. Um, is there anything um, other than what you talked about earlier that you got going that you want to talk about uh, while you're on the air? Well, um, you know, I'm taking one day at a time, man. God is so uh, you know he he won't overcrowd you. Mm-hmm. You know we overcrowd ourselves. You know you know right. what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But we just we take one day at a time and just let him leave us. And I tell you, man, I I enjoyed myself in in Mobile, um, Alabama, and um, soon I I want to come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really, um, you know, it was, I was talking about the weather. It was a little colder there, and mm-hmm. you know, when I'm <laughs> from Jacksonville, you know, it was, yeah. we were burning up over here at that time, and got down there in Mobile, we was I had to put some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> but in a way, I just I really did. I really enjoyed myself, and um, I'm just um, waiting to. For the next, um, you know, adventure that God has for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy to meet you, man. I really were so happy to meet you. You got a drawing spirit. You really did. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, I hope to um, continue to grow as an uh, internet radio. Um, I'm not making a, a whole lot of money right now, but every once in a while, I do get a check from Blog Talk Radio. But I'm going to tell you, I'm 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 in in it for the praise. I'm in it for what God is doing in my life, and um, I thank Him for it. And I thank for all of you guys. And and just remember, anytime you want to do something on the radio, right? Okay. Th- 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 call me at three six two nineteen thirty five. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you be so safe much. out there. Thank you so much. Stay warm. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And you do the same. All right then. All right. Thank you so much. All right. That was Mr. Flory Robinson. We met him um, at the um, Shirley Shoemate uh, workshop there in uh, Mobile, Alabama, in Viola Battery. And uh, we're going to go back and um, continue to play some of his music here on House Super Dragon Gospel Blog Talk Radio. Stay with us. More coming your way. Here's some more information about Mr. Flory Robinson. Uh, you can book him at uh, bookingrobinson at gmail.com. Bookingfiaryrobinson at gmail.com. That's bookingfiaryrobinson at gmail.com. Um, you can send him an email at flyerrobinson at gmail.com. Or you can call him at telephone number 904 701 
All right. Um, we want to thank Reverend Flowery Robertson uh, for staying with us uh, all through the broadcast. Uh, we're down to about 20 minutes to go uh, on the broadcast tonight, and you've been with us all three hours. Reverend Robertson, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for staying in there and um, listening to the last portion of that interview that we did with you today. Are you still there? Pastor Robinson. Okay. All right. We're going to go to the last portion of our uh, broadcast that we uh, did today. And um, right where we got the phone call from um, um, How you doing this morning? Oh, I'm all right. Just come from Florida, uh, spending time with my family. Oh, you know, Thanksgiving. I know you. Yeah, was, well, you know, it wasn't a real happy cake, but, you know, we lost our dad this oh, morning. Oh, yeah. So we, yeah, we kind of like, you know, taking it one day at a time. Oh, yeah. I was in the studio this morning doing um, tonight's um, broadcast, and so I was calling some people and touching base with people. God is awfully good. I'm happy to have you on live. Are you traveling now? Are you settled down at home? Or? No, I'm at home. Uh, just taking it I'm not doing much now yeah. until probably after the first of the year. Yeah. Uh, just trying to recreate, you know, create some different things that I need to do mm-hmm. that's going to lead in 2019. Yeah. You know, and stuff. So I'm kind of just taking some quiet time, you know, taking it easy. Right. Well, look, um, I'm happy that I got you on live this morning. Um, I made a few calls and talked to different people and different things. Uh, I'm, I was happy about our conversation the last time <clears throat> about how we could uh, refocus and um, push and use what we got, and that's what we're going to be doing. Um, uh what um uh, you got at the tip of your tongue that you're gonna be uh focusing on I know you're kind of meditating and getting things squared away where you're gonna move but uh what's what's at the top of you well you don't want to know what the right hand what your left hand is doing the left hand let's know what the right hand is doing but uh anything that you could um share with us this morning well, not really um basically things that I've been like I told you before, when we were on the phone last time we talked, I'm dealing with, like, I, I was dealing with some, my attorney in New York on some things uh, for 2019, you know, 2019. Mm-hmm. And um, basically, uh, my president is kind of handling, you know, whatever issues or whatever that's coming up, you know, mm-hmm. and um, keeping things in perspective until, you know, until we uh, kind of get back together. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of the year. Right. Uh, well, look, I'm, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I'm, I, I, I'm really um, trying to focus on a venue down here, some place. Um, I got a meeting coming up uh, for the Martin Luther King celebration on December the 3rd uh, with the committee that uh, worked with me during the King Parade. And I'm going to be talking to that church pastor about um, allowing us to come in and do a um, gospel program uh, ministering uh, with knowledge about the business, knowledge about the music business, and some of the knocking down some of the misconception about what's going on in the music business. And just like the music business, they we have bad things in our business just like everybody else because they're human beings, just like you said. There's the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, most churches uh, uh, don't allow you to come in like we were talking about before uh, because they think it's somehow selling God's word short or you are making God's house into a, you know, when Jesus come in and overturn the tables. But if you you go in with the right mindset, you're praying and, and you know what you're doing and you know that you're in the will of God and what you're doing, um, God will see you through and, and make it beneficial for all. But 
that's one of the things I'm going to be trying to focus on down here in Alabama um, is um, a venue where we can do things. Um, outdoor venues are good, but it's always good to be uh, inside too as well, regardless of what the weather conditions are. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on in 2019. And uh, I pray that I'll be successful in, in, in this God will that it do materialize, that I do find a venue down here that we can repeatedly use. But I really want it to be a house of God, a church. That's what. Well, I mean, yeah, I understand, you know. Um, I also think, too, that I mean, these pastors, some of them, well, you know, that I remember one time, you know, once upon a time, pastors wouldn't even allow a quartet in many churches mm-hmm. based on things. But uh, pastors need to look at the mirror, too. Mm-hmm. Because they're just as bad as what quartet was, you know, or is. Mm-hmm. So you know, everybody needs to overhaul and really take a look at themselves, and you know, because a lot of people that once upon a time was part of the church, a lot of them are leaving the church mm-hmm. and getting salvation at home because of the fact you can't preach and preach the word, and then you know, a few days or sometime later, the pastor doing things he ain't got no business doing. Mm-hmm. And this would cause people to not even want to be part of it. I mean, you can't criticize something and then turn around, you know, uh, and do things yourself. But, and you know it's wrong, but as long as you don't get caught, you're fine. Mm-hmm. But people don't want to hear that kind of talk. They don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. But pastors are not perfect. That's it. You know, they make mistakes. They do things wrong. So, you're like...